Greetings, humans, and welcome back to Gain's fucking kitchen. This is actually an audio test, so if the audio is completely fucked up, it's because I'm trying out. I have a new microphone, looks like this. And uh, then I thought, like, okay, cool, maybe I should show what I'm eating for pre workout today because I'm hitting the gym in 40 minutes, something like that. Now you have to time this yourself. Um, when you take in your uh, your pre-workout. So obviously, big shout out to Glorious Lindvalls Coffee. And I've gotten a lot of questions like, is it available in the United States, in England, and stuff like that. Uh, not at the moment, unfortunately, because it is one of the best coffees in the world. I'm not saying that only because it's sponsored by them, but Swedish coffee is, you know, number one in the world. And that's also one of the coolest thing without... With, you know, coming back home when you've been abroad, like a good, nice, juicy cup of fucking glorious Lindvalls coffee. So that's for me at least. So that's the integral part. I've cooked it up right there. I also have my Kuchulen cup. I actually bought it in Newgrange when I was there with my fair maiden in uh, last September. Now Newgrange was an old temple that the ancient Irish built uh, there in all actuality. Then obviously I have my rather big cup from Indiska, actually. Uh, Indiska is a um, company in Sweden that, uh, you know, imports Indi Indian stuff, like India, as in, yeah, India. So not Native Americans. Alright, cool. I also have picked this up. I was at the Shupa earlier today and saw, like, Fua Mirin. And that's uh, Brie, Brieost, uh, Brie cheese. And now you see this French flag there. And I'm really sick of this because I'm spending a lot of time on the internet and people will be like, oh, the French never won any wars and stuff like that. I've said this in the past, I'll say it again, it's, it bothers me like hell because France has always been powerful, always had a strong army, always have been a powerful player, even to this day. So, I mean, if you think that, read up some on the history and then you will be like, for me in French history, basically. Bloody as hell, alpha as fuck. Secondly, we have some, I'm just gonna utilize like three of those. Um, just get some carbs in. Uh, this Swedish thing right there, you don't really have it abroad. Uh, like knäcke, it's like hard, hard bread. And then obviously some Swedish butter. You see, it's ecological. I try to buy as much ecological as possible. I think that's a good idea. Now obviously, perhaps you can't afford to do it with everything, but like butter, you don't... You don't use that very often, so it you know can be uh, can be worth to do. I'm gonna take those three right there. So about that much butter, not very much and not very little. Now I'm gonna apply the cheese. All right, children, some glorious cheese right there as well. So this is like a treat. I'm eating clean. I'll make another video when I'm a hundred percent certain that the audio quality is top notch. When I talk a bit about, you know, eating clean versus if it fits your macros. But even if I say like eat clean, I mean eat clean the rest of the day. But as pre-workout, I usually, you know, treat myself. And also all the, for all my clients, like if I write a schedule, I'll be like, you know, let me know what you, something that is a bit unclean as it were. Then we can put it even during a cut, like before training, because then it maximizes the performance. No, I, this is fat and carbs like straight into my muscles will help me with today's bench session because benching is quite dependent on caloric intake actually so um, be smart with your intake up the calories during the pre-workout to maximize their uh, worth and then like later on in the evening you don't need them as much so I'm gonna eat these three with uh, glorious Lindvalls coffee in my glorious Kuhulen cup so and I also hope the audio quality uh, sounds good, let me know what you think. And who am I? I'm a golden one. XXO. Boom! 